summer is approaching, as those temperatures begin to rise, one of the main concerns that a lot of folks have is how do I keep my vermicomposting system cool? Temperature is one of the key variables that you need to get as right as possible in order to, for your system to remain healthy and steady. If you're hot when you're outside, it is very likely that your worms are also getting hot because they have very similar temperature tolerance to human beings. Once the temperature starts to go above 90, they become very, very uncomfortable. And once the temperature surpasses 95 degrees, at that point, the temperature is way too high for the well-being of your worms. That means if the temperatures outdoors are gonna go above 100 degrees, you need to take action to make sure your vermicomposting system stays cool. So the ideal environment is air conditioning. Just like human beings, air conditioning helps us feel very comfortable doing very hot days. If you have worms outside, you wanna make sure that they're on a shady spot, that they're not gonna get reflected heat or radiated heat from different structures, that you wanna place them in the coolest area in your backyard whenever possible. So with that in mind, what are things that you can do to regulate the temperature inside of your bin? Number one is a carbon to nitrogen ratio. Nitrogen or the food scraps that you add to your system, including coffee grounds, when they begin to decompose, they generate a lot of heat. If you have your warm bins outdoors and you don't have access to a space for air conditioning and you start adding a lot of food scraps, that is gonna increase the internal temperature of your system. So during the summer months, if you know you're gonna to have to do things to regulate the temperature of your bin because you don't have access to, uh, say like a cool cellar or a space with air conditioning, you want to go easy on the amount of food scraps that you're feeding to your worms and you want to increase the amount of brown material because brown materials like leaves, cardboard, uh, cocoa core and some of the other alternatives, they also provide food for your worms because remember, worms are not really eating the bedding or the food scraps. What they're eating is the bacteria that it starts to eat away at the bedding and the food scraps. So you don't have to add a lot of food scraps to feed your worms during the summer. The ideal carbon to nitrogen ratio is roughly in between 70% carbon, 30% nitrogen. So during the summer months, I will try to stay as close to those ideal ratios as possible. Another tool that I use to cool off my bins is to use ice packs. So I put ice packs inside of my vermicompost system if I know my worms are gonna be exposed to very high temperatures throughout the day. So when I lived in California, I had my worms outdoors and I would put ice packs inside of the bins when I knew the temperature was gonna go above 90 degrees. Those ice packs help keep the temperature inside of my bins cooler throughout the day. When I would come home at the end of the day, I would go in, the ice packs would be warm, I would replace it with new ice packs and that kept my system going through those very hot days during the summer days in Southern California. If you don't take the bag out, you keep the bag inside of your system. It's like a pocket. You're just replacing the ice bag, taking it in and out. So if you're getting value out of this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel so I can bring more content to you. Another thing that is really important, not just for temperature, but also for acidity and for other different variables that can go out of range inside of your system, is to have buffer zones. Buffer zones are areas where it's mainly decomposed material and a lot of bedding, where there is not a lot of fresh food scraps being added to. So by having those buffer zones, that allows worms to have escape area in case the conditions inside of your system go out of range. So if it gets too hot, they'll have a spot where they, there's no food scraps, so the temperature there is likely to be a little bit lower. In my case, I do have a tote system where I have two plastic bins, one encased inside of another. What I do is I fill the bottom bin with wood chips and that becomes the ideal buffer zone for temperature swings inside of my vermicomposting system. Because when the temperatures go high, the worms will naturally go lower into the lower bin where there is wood chips. I'm not adding any nitrogen material into that area. so it will be the coolest area inside of your vermicomposting system at that point.